Hey, what's up? My name is Adam. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about an Evernote alternative. I'm gonna walk through research that I'm actually doing, show you how I tried to do it in Evernote, and then I'll explain how to use a new platform that you probably have never heard of. It's called Gahana. And I'll explain why it's different from Evernote and why it can do a lot of the same things. So before anything else, let's just dive right into the video. I've been researching aquaculture and how it relates to sustainability. I'm a total noob when it comes to this topic. So the first thing I'm doing is just reading online. I'm looking at blog posts, I'm learning about different studies that have been done. And what I normally do with my process is I clip these pages into an application. So this is how you can do it with Evernote. I have the web clipper up here in the right corner. It looks like an elephant and I can save this clip that I'm currently reading into Evernote. It takes a little bit of time for that to work, but I'll just wait for that to happen. And then it should appear inside of the Evernote space here. So this is what Evernote actually looks like. I'm not sure if you've ever used it or if you're thinking about using it, but this is the actual user interface. As you can see, that blog post that I just clipped using the plugin appears here, and it looks like the blog post did on Google. I don't actually use Evernote, and I'll explain why. There's three main reasons why I use Kahana instead of Evernote, even though I just kind of used it just to show you as an example. The first reason is that you can't use Evernote for free on more than one device. So the second that I leave my computer and I try to look at this stuff on my phone, I can't. You have to upgrade and it costs $8 a month to do that. The second reason is that Evernote is limited with respect to collaboration. So if I wanna have a team collaborating on this research with me, it's also a paid feature and it costs $15 a month. The third reason is that with Evernote's UI, I think it's difficult to read through a lot of different files and essentially analyze them while also taking notes. Kahana provides a good way to split everything up. I have saved multiple different web pages using the Kahana Web Clipper. I've saved PDFs and it becomes very accessible in one place. So I can easily just analyze different pieces of data and get up to speed on what I'm researching. And I prefer to do it this way because I can even attach the uploads that I put into Kahana to the text that I write. So I prefer to read, research, and then also take notes while I go. Now with respect to the, the, the key differences and similarities of Kahana and Evernote, Kahana is very similar. You have a web clipper like I showed you, you can collaborate with as many people as you want for free. There's, there's no payment required to collaborate. You can also use it on any device. So this hub that you see is the same on a mobile device like your phone, it's the same on a tablet. And you, if you have 10 phones, you can use it on all 10. If you're looking for a research platform that's super scalable, collaborative, easy to use, and it just helps you stay on target with your organization, then Kahana is a really good platform to know about. And that's why I wanted to make this video. The last thing I wanted to mention about Kahana is that you can make as many of these hubs as you want. And this is just an example of all the stuff that I've been researching. That's a lot of information for another day. I just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out this video. And uh, if you have any other questions about Evernote and Kahana, just feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to get involved with the research or check out my hub, I will also include a public link to that in the description of this video. And if you want to go try out Kahana, go to kahana.co and it's totally free to use, no credit card required. So yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.